Footies is in full swing in FIFA 22 and with it comes the re-release of regular upgrade SPCs. These include the 75 plus times 5 upgrade SPC which is perfect at packing some of them special cards which you guys want to get from footies to put into your FIFA 22 ultimate teams. In this video I'll be showing you guys the best two ways which you can use and grind out to grind as many as these 75 times up 5 upgrade SPCs as possible. If you guys do find the video helpful please make sure to like and subscribe. You can also join my FIFA Discord server link in description. Without further ado let's get straight into it. Now before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FIFA 22 coins, completely safe and reliable. If you use code MANZA at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. So the first method which I'm going to be showing you guys is just trying to make profit whilst completing these 75 times 5 upgrade SPCs. So first of all, what do these SPCs require? Well, obviously... 11 rare players, 9 of which can be silver, obviously 2 can be gold. Obviously you need a minimum of 2 gold rares, you can use more gold rares if you want. But let's just say we need 2 gold rares and 9 silver rares. So obviously predominantly you guys need silver rares. Now once you have obviously rinsed all these silver rares in your clubs, so you want to make sure you're using up all these silver rares and then trading obviously all the silver commons up to rares and putting them in as well. Either you can get silver rares through doing like the 71, 74 upgrade SPCs or just the regular uh, silver upgrade SPCs to gain more silver rares. But if you guys eventually do run out of silver cards and silver rares especially, what you want to do is head on over to the market. And this is how you make profit whilst training with these cards. First of all, as you guys can see, the buy out on these cards is actually going to be like 1,100 coins to the point where you can buy them. And sometimes even a bit more than that. Obviously, the prices will change when you guys are trying to buy these cards for the SPCs. But for me, currently, they're going to be like 1.3k. So what you actually want to do is set up like a mass filter, a mass bidding filter with these cards. We know we can sell all of these on for 1.3k. So if we go and try and win every card on bid for like 900 coins, we can sell them on for uh, 1.3k. So not only can we make profit with these cards... But we can also send some of them to our club for these upgrade SPCs. Now what you guys would want to do is put on as many of these cards as possible. Obviously you want as many of these cards to put into the upgrade SPCs in order to generate the most upgrade SPCs. Now the way obviously which you do this in order to not lose a bunch of coins is you do sell on some of these players. So all of these cards that we are uh, putting on bids, the ones which we do win for 900, we will keep a percentage of them and then sell a percentage of them to obviously make up the coins back for the ones which we are just keeping. So what I will actually do is just go through and bid on as many of these silver rares as possible and I recommend you guys do do the same. Obviously the more you bid on the more chance you have of winning them. However, sometimes it may take a bit of time to win some of these cards, obviously as there is a lot of competition due to a lot of people wanting to do these upgrade SBCs. But if you guys are persistent and bid on lots of cards at times, you will bid, uh, you will win a decent amount of these silver rare cards. Obviously, I would recommend literally just filling up your transfer list with these cards. Also, another tip to get more bids on without being upbid is just scroll bit back a couple pages. Obviously, here you are more likely to be able to put your bids on uh, uncontested obviously you may be outbid on some of the cards sometimes you may be outbid on all of the cards but if you can try and win as many as possible on bid for 900 coins well then you guys should be looking good so i'll get back to you once we've won a bunch on bid for 900 and show you the method from there so now guys after using this bidding method for a bit of time we have managed to win 16 silver rares at either 900 coins or 1000 coins currently on the market every silver rare has a minimum buy now of 1300 coins and this is where you can start making profit with the method so what i would do is obviously count up how many silver rares you have so for me it's 16 however when you guys are using this method you want to fill out your transfer list bidding on these cards so i'd recommend literally not stopping bidding until you have won about 50 silver rares each time to make it worthwhile obviously going through and selling on all these cards. Now what you want to do is actually keep 8 of these players and then the other 8 what you want to do is go and list them back onto the market. So we know we can get 1,300 coins for every single one of these cards minimum. Obviously picking them up at 1,000 coins that will be profit but actually what you want to do is compare price and that is because with these cards being rare some of them may be going for a lot more. So this guy, for example, is actually going for 1,900 coins. Now, us picking him up at 1,000 coins, we can just go and list that on at 1.7k and take the profit on that card. And what you want to do is just go through half of the players which you do have and just do this with every single one. What you guys will find is that due to these cards being rare on the market, you can actually sell them for a lot more. As their buy now price may be a bit bigger than the base price. Obviously, for this guy, nothing there. His base, we will just get and sell that on instantly at a 1.3k flip. 
I would recommend you guys, if you are on a lower coin total, to just flip these cards instantly for the profit. However, if you do have a higher coin total and can wait longer for the cards to sell, then I would recommend listing these for obviously their actual cheapest by now on the market because some of these cards you can sell on for two three thousand coins and therefore getting them at one thousand coins makes this method even better obviously when you guys are selling these cards on let's just make this card the last card that we do sell on but obviously every time you are selling on these cards what you are doing is gaining the profit from these trades and therefore this profit can obviously pay for the cards which you have just bought and are now being sent to your club so let's just go and send the rest of these silver rares to our club well now we have obviously gone and sent a bunch of them silver rares to our club so now when we go over to SBCs and obviously go to complete these 75 times 5 obviously bear in mind you guys are doing this on a bigger scale so therefore you will have more silver rares in your club. But what you guys will find is that obviously you need 9 silver rares for this SBC so when you go into your club and you just have a look at your silver rares obviously you will have all these silver rares which you just won on bid for a thousand coins and obviously you guys will have sold on the silver rares so as much as you can't do this for free it does cost some coins to buy these cards you are accounting for some of them coins back by obviously selling on these cards at 1300 coins however that is going to be the first way to grind out these 75 times 5 upgrade the second way in which you guys can grind out more of these 75 times 5 upgrade SPCs during the footies promo is going to be the bronze pack method. Now this is very simple, you guys have probably seen this before. What you want to do is open up bronze packs and now there is uh, upgrade SPCs out at the moment which will help out with this grind. Starting off then, any bronze rare which you get, obviously you can sell these cards instantly on the market depending on their value. So let's just obviously, in order to recount coins when you are using this method, just compare the price on all of the cards and sell them on if they do have value. So for example, this guy, 450 coins, we can sell him on for 400 coins and then that's like a decent amount of the pack back. That's like half the cost of the pack back. But what you guys obviously would want to do is check the price of every single player and sell them on if they do have a value. If they don't have a value like these two, for example, what you would do is send them to your club and you guys would keep repeat opening bronze packs and stocking up your club with bronze players. Now this can take time, if you guys do have lots of coins and just want to do this cheaply, then simply go on a bid on a bunch of bronze commons for 150 coins, and then put them into these upgrade SPCs, but you guys can do the bronze pack method obviously to gain players. So what do you do once you have a bronze commons? Well you start off the grind, and what you do is you go over to these 62-64 upgrade SPCs. These are obviously easy to complete, you literally just need a bronze common squad, literally just bronze low to high, you can just put in commons, as long as they fit the positions, you should get the chemistry uh, requirement and it's very very easy and you guys can just submit them. Now what you actually do get, obviously you do want to put in bronze commons when you're doing this, make sure to not race rares, I know I put in rares there but you do get rares back. What you actually then want to do is you get 5 bronze rares from that pack. So we get the 5 bronze rares from that pack and then what we do is we actually move over to the 71 to 74 triple upgrade. So obviously what you guys want to have done is complete a bunch of 60 to 64 upgrades as much as you can to get as many bronze rares as you can. And then this is where it comes in helpful is because all these bronze rares can then go into the 71 to 74 upgrade SPCs. So obviously we need player quality minimum bronze and then obviously you need a minimum of 3 rares. So this is where the bronze rares come in handy is we can then go and submit. Obviously we have all these bronze rares in the club from the grind which we have been completing. So we can then go and submit that and we then get the 71 to 74 triple upgrade. Now this gives us three silver rares. Now obviously as I keep saying, you guys are doing this on a much bigger scale than what I'm using. So you will have lots and lots of these upgrade packs at each time. So therefore you'll get loads of these silver rare players. And then eventually once you get these three silver rare players, well where do they go? Well they go into the 75 times 5 upgrade SBC. So then as you guys can see, you obviously get these silver rares. Obviously you need uh, nine silver rares to go into this upgrade SBC. Obviously, you can use less silver rares if you want to use more gold rares. So, I would recommend you guys rinsing all your gold rares as well to grind out as many of these as you can. But as you guys can see, you should get a lot of silver rares just from grinding out this method. And then when you do have all of these silver rares, you can just rinse them back into these 75 times 5 upgrade SPCs. And just complete as many of them as possible. Now, obviously, I have used up all my silver rares pretty much doing this method already. But I promise you guys, this is one of the most profitable methods to make as many um, 75 times up 5 upgrade SPCs as you can. Obviously, these guys are the best upgrade SPCs in the game currently. So you do want to grind out as many of them as you physically can. But obviously, literally, simply, just obviously, you only need 30 chemistry requirements. So it's very, very easy. Just get a couple people who link. And then just submit these cards in. Obviously the 9 silver rares. You guys do have silver rares from the 71 to 74 method. 
obviously if you've completed the 71 to 74 upgrade spcs you do have silver rares from that so you can go and then put them in with the gold rares and what you guys will find is you'll be able to grind a lot more of these 75 times 5 upgrade spcs my personal recommendation overall then would be that you grind out a lot of the first methods to obviously make coins while doing these and grind out the second method. If you do grind out both methods together, you guys will be able to craft and grind more of these 75 times 5 upgrade SBCs to obviously pack the best players possible. Anyway guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope I helped you guys out. If I did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And just a quick example here of these sort of cards which you can pull from the pack. Nothing special, but it's going to be an 84 in from Lazari. Obviously, the more of these you do craft, the more better players you will pull. But just a good example of these sort of players which you can pack. Anyway, guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also join my FIFA Discord server for link in description. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.